Welcome back to What's Cooking with Lolo. And of course, it's your girl Lolo. And guess what we're doing today? Wait, let me ask this question. Who's ever been caught in this predicament to where you're about to cook and you're missing one of your star ingredients? Uh, yeah, me. Yeah, that's what I just did. Okay, I'm cooking barbecue chicken tonight. And of course, I don't have any barbecue sauce. Man, I tell you, and I'm not going back outside to go to the store to go and get any. So guess what we're going to do today, lovelies? We are going to make our own barbecue sauce. That's right. You heard me. We're going to make our own barbecue sauce, and I'm going to show you how. Stay with me now. We have a whole plethora here thing of, of uh, ingredients. This is going to be our barbecue sauce right here. We got some ketchup. We have some molasses. We have some onion flakes. We got some chopped fresh garlic. Now, come on. Y'all know how I am with my garlic. I don't play. You know I got to have my garlic. And guess what? It's only six cloves in here. <laughs> yeah. We got some paprika. We got some Worcestershire sauce. Let me make sure I say it correctly now. Some apple cider vinegar and some brown sugar. Back there, over there, in that corner right there. Yeah, that's some olive oil that we're going to use in our pan. But you know what? Let's get this barbecue sauce started. To get our barbecue sauce started, we have our pan here. You need a saucepan or a pot, whatever you're going to cook it in. Make it kind of roomy, okay? Um, because once you start adding all the ingredients together, this is going to rise a little bit, okay? So we want to start off with the hot pan. We're going to drizzle some olive oil in our pan. Because we're going to take our garlic and we are going to saute it a little bit. You do not want to brown it. You don't. You want to watch this garlic because you know garlic will go left quickly. Okay? Very quickly. So, we're going to add our garlic in first and foremost. Besides the olive oil. So, here's our garlic. Again, I have six cloves of chopped fresh garlic here. And you hear that sizzle? That's what we want to hear. I want to hear it sizzle, but I don't want it extremely piping hot because I do not want to burn this garlic. You burn garlic, that is some nasty stuff, let me tell you. Some nasty, nasty stuff. So, just let this cook down a little bit. Saute real good without burning it. Let it cook for maybe two minutes or so. While we get all of our other ingredients together. All right, so our garlic is good. Now we want to start adding in our ketchup. I have two cups of ketchup here that I'm going to add right into this pot. And just be careful because when this ketchup starts to bubble, oh man, you don't want to get burned by that. So we're going to just give that a good stir. Get that garlic mixed up in there and that ketchup. Get it good and mixed. All right, so to that ketchup and garlic, now I'm gonna add in our Worcestershire sauce. That's a tablespoon and a half of Worcestershire sauce. And with each ingredient, you just wanna give it a good stir. Mix it in real good there. All right, to that, we're gonna add in our paprika. Now, smoky would be better, but I don't have smoky paprika today. I have regular paprika. So that's what we're going to use. If you have it, by all means, great. Add in a tablespoon. But again, I don't have any smoky paprika, so I just use regular paprika. All right, to that now, we want to add in our apple cider vinegar. 
That's three fourths cup of apple cider vinegar. And again, be careful. Give that a slow stir. You don't want that popping on you, coming all out your pan there. All right, now to that, our other ingredients. We have some dry onion flakes here. We're gonna put that in. And that's a tablespoon as well of dry onion flakes. We also have some molasses here. That's about one third cup of molasses. I'm gonna get that in there real good. Get all of it out. And again, give that a good stir. Get all that mixed up in there. I have my flame on medium right now, but when I finish, I'm gonna turn it up just a tad and put a top on it. Mm, it's already smelling great. Now, I almost forgot one ingredient. We're going to use about two tablespoons of spicy brown mustard. Now, you can omit that, but I'm going to add it. Two tablespoons of spicy brown mustard. I almost forgot about that. Give that a good mix. All right. And our last and final ingredient to our barbecue sauce is our brown sugar. Now I have a cup and a half of brown sugar here. Now you can add less if you think that's going to be too sweet. I do like a sweet barbecue sauce. And if it's not sweet enough, I will add in like a fourth to a half a cup more. You hear Naya? <laughs> She's scratching her back. So you want to give that as well a good stir. Mix that up really well in there. Mm. So it already smells awesome sauce. So guess what, people? That is the last of the ingredients to the barbecue sauce. Now, what we want to do is get a top, place it on there. I still have the fire on medium. We're going to let this boil or simmer for about 25 minutes. See you back. All right, look at that right there, my lovely. As you see, this barbecue sauce just a bubbly. Let's turn this fire off. It's been 25 minutes. So I'm gonna turn the fire off because I don't wanna get popped with this hot stuff. Let's take our top off. Ooh, wee. Look at that bubbly brown. Yeah, baby. Guess what, peoples? Lolo just made some barbecue sauce. It ain't Sweet Baby Ray's, but it's Sweet Baby Lolo's for the night. <laughs> Smells awesome. Looks awesome. And it's thick. Now, once this cools down, you want to taste it. I'm not going to tell you to taste it while it's hot, okay? Because this sucker is hot. But you can, you know, easily take your spoon away and just... Perfect. This will be the time to add in uh, any more brown sugar if you want, maybe some molasses, depending on what you're tasting. This works fine for me. I probably will add a little bit more um, molasses in this, just for a little bit more sweetness. Like I said, I like it sweet. 
I don't want to mix that mix honey in it because I got the molasses. So I will add just a tad bit more molasses. And if that doesn't work, then I add some brown sugar. But I want to try it with adding a little bit more of the molasses. Just a drizzle. I think that works. Like I said, this is the point where you would add sugar, some more brown sugar or some more molasses. But when this cools down, it will thicken even more. But you got to let it cool down before you decide to um, put this in a container. Okay. I suggest mason jars with the tops or the plastic, you know, uh, containers with the tops. But make sure this has completely cooled before you start to um, package it up. Okay. And keep it in your refrigerator, I think, like up to a month, maybe a little more, maybe two months. It keeps well. Oh, I think that molasses did it. All right, people. So here's our barbecue sauce. I think we're done here. Job well done, if I say so myself. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching What's Cooking with Lolo. Until next time, my lovelies. Enjoy.